Hello everyone, this is Crystal Potoff here and today I want to talk about making the diamond or rhombus shape on an egg. So a diamond is a symbol for wisdom, so there's there's a diamond shape. There's, there's another diamond shape. This one's got it on the border. This is kind of a longer diamond shape. So different ways to do to you can have the square one or the diamond the long elongated one. I'm going to show you the square one. The elongated one uh, you just have more uh, space. So <clears throat> what you want to do is measure out on your egg an area that is going to be a even distance from here to here and here to here. So if I'm trying to draw this border, and actually this technique will work for anything. So this is my center line. That's going to be the center points of the diamond. This is my long line. I, yes, I know that wasn't very straight. And there's my other one. And I've marked off on here, uh, this is four centimeters wide. So I have marked off every two centimeters. And I'm going to draw the line like that. Now these, are, these would be considered the pencil lines, so keep that in mind. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily wax all of that. Now here is my line here. And I'm going to draw this as a dotted line. Now what to do the diamond, you start at, you draw each side separately. And this will help you whether you're drawing it on the flat part, like this is kind of flat. So this is pretty even because it's kind of the big center of the egg. But when you get up here to the top of the egg, you're really dealing with the curved part. So however you do this, this will work wherever you are on the egg. So if you've got it divided, you start, here's the center line. I'm going to draw from here to here, here to here, here here, here, here. Okay. And now I have a nice, nice, even shaped diamond. Here, 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 here. So it ends up being a very nice, evenly shaped diamond. Now to prove to you that this works on the egg, because yeah, this is a flat surface. It's pretty easy to draw it on there. What about the, the curve of the egg? So I have here my egg. What I did was I measured from the top to the bottom, and it was eight centimeters. So I'm going to put four uh, diamonds. So I divided, so that meant that this had to be two centimeters wide. Yes, there's math involved, you know, like get over it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've marked off every centimeter going down here, but I'm only going to draw the line on every other one. And I, I won't actually wax this line. I mean, you could if you wanted your diamonds to have wax. So like on this one, there was a line that went here, but I didn't put wax on it. I just wanted the diamond shape. So if you want, want that, you can do that. So now what I will do is I'm going to draw my diamond. I'm going to use this as one endpoint. So I'm going to draw from here to there, there to there, there to there and there to there. And I have a nice diamond shape, very even. Uh, let me do the one on the top so you can kind of see how that goes. So there's 
little bit more of a curvature here. So I'm going to draw from the center point to there. As long as you get these measured out so that they're fairly equal, you'll end up with a nice diamond shape. And there you go. Nice diamond shape. And I'll continue that around there. I'm Actually, this is going to be what I call the stained glass egg. I'm going to dye this black and then um, do some lines and then I'll... Um, I'll wash the black back. But anyway, so that's that's where I'm at here. I'll draw, I'll draw one more. I'll draw the one that connects here. So it helps if you draw each line separately, drawing from one point to the next, because then you're taking into account the curvature of the egg. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with um, some more tips later on putting elements inside of these and have some ideas on how to draw that. So thanks for watching.